Hey everybody, this is a uh, demonstration of how to run the new Office 365 hybrid configuration wizard against an Exchange 2010 environment. This was released, this uh, wizard was released a couple months back for Exchange 2013 and Exchange 2016 hybrid configurations, and we've recently updated the application to work against Exchange 2010. So, previously you would go for, for configuring hybrid with 2010, you would go and run all the, you know, the prerequisites, you would go through the Exchange Deployment Assistant, get your domain, certificates, all that in place. All of that still applies. The difference now is when you get to the step of running the hybrid configuration wizard, whether it's a new installation of hybrid or an existing hybrid configuration, you will go to the portal to, to access the um, new Office 365 hybrid configuration wizard. So you go to portal.office.com, log in with your tenant administrator credentials, and you'll be brought to this landing page. On this landing page, you'll click on the admin icon on the desktop. And when you click on the admin icon, that will take you to the uh, admin center in Office 365. In there, you'll go uh, expand admin in the left-hand tree, and then select Exchange. And this will take you to the Exchange Admin Center in Office 365 in Exchange Online. So now we have a new node in here. This node is called Hybrid. So when you click on Hybrid, you'll notice that there is a Configure button. The purpose of the Configure button is to look and feel like it does for Exchange 2013, but actually this takes you to the same wizard that's used for 2010. So you click on Configure, and this will take you to a download page. Once on the download page, you click on click here to download the software and we'll download and open the new Office 365 Hybrid Configuration Wizard. This can be run on any machine, any domain join machine in your environment that contains your Exchange 2010 servers. Um, and you run, you, when you're on the Wizard Welcome page, you click the Next button. What it'll do is it'll try to detect your 2010 client access server running the latest version of Exchange. If that happens to be 2013, uh, sorry, 2010, it will pick that version and you'll be able to hit the Next option. Uh, notice Give Feedback is on every page, so you can give feedback at any time about any of the pages. And what I'm doing now is I'm adding, um, ad entering my Office 365 admin credentials. Enter them correctly. Okay. Once I enter my Office 365 admin credentials, I hit next, and we, you'll see it making the wizard making the connection to Remote PowerShell and Exchange on premises, and Exchange online. After that's complete, we hit the next button. You'll notice that uh, some settings are already pre-configured, like enable centralized transport, and that's because I ran the old hybrid configuration wizard, and I selected that option in the wizard. The new wizard will retain any settings you specified in the old wizard, so it's not like you're going to lose all your settings or have to re-answer the questions. If you've already run the wizard and are rerunning it like I am today, you will you'll be able to just uh, go through the experience and basically hit next the whole way through. It'll say your hub, ask you for your hub transport servers. In this case, I only have one, but if you had more, you could pick more than one. And if they were already configured in the previous version of the hybrid configuration wizard, all of those would be pre-selected for you. Your IP address is retained from a previous run of the hybrid wizard, but if not, you would have to provide your public IP address where your mail will route to. Uh, your transport certificate, it will look, we'll look for a valid certificate that's installed on all of your transport servers selected on the previous screens. And then we'll You'll hit the next button. You'll provide your uh, external FQDN for Mailflow. Once you provide your external FQDN for Mailflow, you'll hit the next button and then click on update. When, uh, when After you click on update, what you're going to notice is that you get a series of commandlets that kind of scroll across the screen and it's gonna, showing you what it's doing in the background. As the hybrid configuration wizard runs, it shows you the commandlets and then after it runs, you can uh, go to the hybrid configuration wizard log if you wanted to see what it did by going to percent app data percent in Windows Explorer and going into the hybrid configuration wizard folder. In there you'll be able to see the log files uh, to see all the changes that were made in your environment. After the hybrid configuration wizard is complete you're going to get a feedback screen. Um, we encourage you to give feedback, good or bad, so that you can rate the experience, provide some details about what you liked or didn't like about the experience, and then you know that gives us the opportunity to actually address any issues or concerns or confusion that you had while running the wizard. Uh, thanks again for watching this recording, and uh, you know use the new hybrid wizard. Stop using the old 2010 built-in hybrid wizard.